Hello all you gorgeous people. This is a video of the top 5 must have accessories for your Jaguar XF. And in number 5 I'm going to start with the carbon fiber spoiler. Now this thing is actually quite amazing and it's designed for the X250 as you can see over here at the top. Uh, 2008 models all the way up to 2015 and the one that they're actually showing here in the picture is the um, 2013 and up model but it will fit the old, older models as well. Now this is a phenomenal looking thing because of the fact that it's very discreet and it's very much like the standard one that you actually get on the S. I think it's the S and the Sport uh, pack and if we go down you can actually get a closer look of um, what this actually looks like. I must say the quality is actually very very good. Um, whether it's real carbon fiber I don't know but it seems pretty light and at the price I would think that it would be real carbon fiber. Now there you can see their shipping policy, how many days it takes to get to you and I think this is really really a nice addition to have and I'm probably gonna buy this for my car. I don't have this yet. I've been eyeing it for a long long time. I've had it on my wish list and the price is a little steep but honestly I've, I've spent almost that amount on a dash cam for my car so um, you know, a couple extra few dollars is really not going to break the bank. At number four, we have the steering wheel cover. Now, Jaguars don't have a very bad steering wheel. They've actually got very nice steering wheels. And mine has the, I think it's the dark brown um, cover. But this looks absolutely awesome. And you can see it's got the dimpled effect with red stitching, which is crazy 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 and I can't wait to fit this to my car. Now I must just point out if you look at the steering wheel this is a steering wheel from a 2013 facelift model and the steering wheel portion uh, round about here is different on the earlier models. The It tapers a little bit more to this, the edge of the steering wheel, this uh, chrome portion or al aluminum portion if you want to call it, but it will still fit your car. Now I have already received mine, um, I just need to get the time to actually fit it to my car and I'm going to do a video on installing it to the car. And as you can see if we go down, they do other cars as well, other models, different leather colors, different stitching colors so you can you can choose your own thread. Um, I chose red thread because it already has red thread on it and I just love this dimpled effect. I've got the same one on the Audi, uh, the old Audi B5 that I had and it feels great and chunky. It feels really nice when you drive a car with this um, leather cover on and it is genuine leather that I can vouch for as well. Uh, it's not fake leather, it's not PU leather, it is genuine, genuine leather. And what they've done is around the edges here they actually shave it a little thinner so that you can tuck it in behind all those panels on the steering wheel. At number three we have these really really nice license plate lights. Now I have fitted these to my car as well and I haven't really boasted much about it. Um, in fact I don't even think I've ever mentioned it. But I can tell you one thing, they really do work great. They fit like a glove to your XF. Um, they've got the wedge uh, fitting over there. So it's just plug and play, unclip your old ones, clip these new ones in and they are super super bright. As you can see there's an XF with them on and this is pretty much the same brighter, brightness as mine. So and in fact when you put your, your backup camera on it, it illuminates the whole area behind your car so you can actually see better at night on your um, dash on your on your dash <laughs> with your camera um, and then at number two we have these mud flaps now I also have these fitted to my car and I fitted these quite a while ago and these actually don't say Jaguar on them but you get various types and some of them say Jaguar okay these say you are <laughs> I think some of them say Jaguar, some of them don't. So you can actually just have a look, um, just do a search. These are $55. Uh, mine were actually cheaper than that. I think mine were uh, about two years ago. 
I think I paid about uh, 30, $38 for mine and then another two dollars for shipping and in fact this is what mine looks like so they fit like a glove as well easy to fit I fitted them within five minutes and um, they really really make your car look good and not only that they're practical because they keep the bumper clean especially when you're riding through mud or water and then a number one the dash cam obviously has to be a number one because this thing is I already have a dash cam in my car but I'm going to replace it with this. Um, I did a video previously where I did an unboxing of my dash cam and I haven't been able to fit it because I'm waiting for the add a fuse circuit. Now I've just received that today so I will be doing the video on the dash cam first then I'll be doing a video on the steering wheel cover and then I'll be doing a video on the LED headlight conversion for the H7 bulbs because my car doesn't have um, my car has H7 bulbs, it doesn't have HID lights. Now this dash cam has an Amberella A7 LA55 chip. Now this is the exact same chip that I actually have in my tiny little dash cam that is in my car right now and it is a wonderful dash cam. It's HD, uh, it records clear at night, it records clear during the day, it has a good mic so it cap captures everything, it doesn't lose anything. and it works, this particular one works with a Wi-Fi, uh, built-in Wi-Fi, so you connect your phone to the dash cam when you, your car is running and then you can do all your settings and you can check that it's actually filming the right thing, you know, that, that the camera is setting right and um, you can also adjust all your settings. Now what I love about this particular dash cam and you get two different types. You get a cheaper one which is about $77 and you get this one which is $148. And the reason I chose the more expensive one is because it actually has some other neat little functions which I just want to explain to you guys um, in addition to just being a dash cam. Uh, where is it? Now here you can see it records up to 30 frames per second at 2304 by 1296 pixels. That's very good. So, and you can put up to a 32 gig card in this thing. So that's pretty good because normally they only go up to a 16 gig card. And I think hey, automatic protection emergency locking. Okay, that's uh, just a G sensor if you, um, you know, have an accident. But, aha, here we go. It has what they call ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance System. So it will give you an audible warning if you're too close to the car in front of you. It also has lane departure detection. So there it says lane departure warning function when the vehicle deviates from the lane and the vehicle spins or spend exceeds 50 kilometers per hour. So if you're going more than 50 kilometers per hour it starts keeping check on your lanes on the highway and it will warn you if you're leaving your lane. Now the only pain with this is that this does not connect to the ODB2 of your car so it doesn't know that you actually might have your flicker on and you're intending to leave your lane. So that, that could be a bit of a pain. We will check, we'll see. Um, it has automatic light detection so it'll actually also give you um, an audible warning to say you need to put on your lights if you go into a tunnel because some people do forget to switch on their lights believe it or not even in and, and even in this day and age but I don't my car has got um, automatic headlights um, automatic on but I never really use it always have my headlights switched off and here it shows you how to wire it up once um, you have your add a few circuits so I'm going to, I'm going to do a video on this and I'm going to show you guys how to fit this to your car if you're interested in buying this so thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and stay tuned um, for my next video